Have a good day! In this video, you will learn the different operations on rational numbers. Addition of fraction, subtraction of fraction, multiplication of fraction, and division of fraction. So let's start with on how we add and sub subtract fraction with the same denominators. Okay? So the rule in adding and subtracting fraction with the same denominator is just which is simply add or subtract the numerator and then just simply copy their common denominator. So from the pattern that we have, as you see, kung may kita po mapapansin, pareho po ang denominator. And then, ang ginawa po sa numerator is just simply add or just simply subtract. Okay? For uh, example number one that we have here on the screen, so let us add one-fifth plus negative three-fifths. Okay, so again, copy the denominators that we have. So we have here 5, and then add the numerator. So we are adding numerators with different sign, applying the rule in adding integers. So we have to subtract and then copy the sign of the bigger number. So 3 minus 1 will give us 2, and then copy the sign of the bigger number, which is negative. So that's why we have here negative. So therefore, 1 fifth plus negative 3 fifth is equal to negative 2 fifth. Okay? For example number 2, we have 7 over 9 minus 2 over 9. So we are now subtracting fraction here with the same denominator. So same thing po yung gagawin. Copy the denominator, which is 9. And then, um, subtract the numerators. So, the numerators are 7 and 2, and we are, are our operation here is subtraction. So, applying here the rule of subtracting integers, so we have here this KCC. So, we have to keep the sign of our minuend, so keep siya as positive 7. Then, C, change the operation to addition, okay? And then, C, change the sign of the subtrahend, so if that is positive 2, we are now to make it to negative Okay, so we are now adding integers here with different sign. So 7 minus 2 will give us 5. What is the sign of the bigger number? Positive. So you have here positive 5 all over 9. So therefore, 7 over 9 minus 2 over 9 is equal to 5 over 9. On the next example, and how we add fraction with the same denominator, as you can see, our first fraction is written into what we call mixed fraction. Okay, So we have to first change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So how are we going to write this mixed fraction into improper fraction? Okay, So the first thing that you need to do is you have to just simply copy the denominator. So you have here 7. And then multiply the denominator by the whole number. So 7 times 2 is equal to 14. Plus the numerator, which is 1. That's why we have here 15. So our um, mixed fraction 2 and 1 over 7 is now equal to 15 over 7. Okay, so you have to write here 15 all over 7. Okay, then let us copy plus negative 4 all over 7. So, pasensya na po sa tulat. Now, we are adding now here, again, integers with different signs. So, we have to subtract 15 minus 4. We have here 11. Copy the sign of the bigger number. So, that is positive all over uh, their common denominator, which is 7. So, we have here 11 over 7. So, kung mapapansin po, that is written in improper fraction. Now, we are to convert this or to write this into mixed fraction naman po. So, kanina ang ginawa natin dito, from mixed, ginawa natin improper. So, this time, we have to write this um, improper fraction to um, mixed fraction. So, how are we going to do that? So, we'll just simply divide the numerator by the denominator. So, 11 divide 7, meron tayong whole number which is 1. Okay? Yung remainder po will be the numerator. So, we have here our remainder which is 4. That will be our numerator. And just simply copy the denominator which is 7. So, this is our 
final answer. So we have here 1 and 4 over 7. Next, we have to discuss on how we add and subtract fraction with different denominators. So magkaiba naman po ang kanilang denominators. So of course, it has a different way on how we do that. So the first thing that you need to do is you have to first find the least common denominator. Then you have to rename or rewrite the fraction to make them similar using their LCD. Okay, that's why that is the first thing na kailangan natin gawin. Kapag magkaiba ang denominator, we have to find their least common denominator. And then, i rewrite natin yung ating fraction gamit yung kanilang LCD to make them similar. And then, of course, the last thing is you just simply add or subtract the numerators of our resulting fractions. Okay? Let's have example number one. So, in our example number one, as you can see, we have here one-third plus three-fourths, okay? Again, the first thing that you need to do, since magkaiba po ng denominator, isang three at isang four, you have to first find the LCD, or the least common denominator. Now, how are we going to get the least common denominator of these two numbers, or these two denominators, three and four? You have to write the list, or uh, sorry, you have to write the multiples of your denominator. So, the multiples of three, we have here three, six, nine, twelve, sixteen, eighteen, and so on. And then, the multiples of four, we have four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, and so on. So, as you can see from the multiples, ano yung nakita nyo or napansin ninyo na least common na uh, multiples ni 3 and 4. So, as you see, we have here 12. So, therefore, our LCD here is 12. Okay? So, we already have the first step. We find the LCD which is 12. Okay? Now, the second thing is we have to rewrite 1 third and 3 fourths similar using their LCD. Paano naman natin gagawing ang denominator nila ngayon ay pareho gamit ang kanilang least common denominator which is 12. Okay? So, tingnan pong maigi. So, your least common denominator divided by the denominator. So, 12 divides 3. That is equal to 4. And then, yung product po is imumultiply natin sa ating numerator. So, 4 times 1 so that is now equal to 4. So, 1 third is now equal to 4 over 12. Okay? Plus. Okay? So, plus po yung ating operation. So, same process ang gagawin. Yung less common denominator which is 12 divided by the denominator which is 4 will give us 3. And then, 3 multiplied by the numerator will give us 9. So, kung napansin po, yung 1 third and 3 fourths natin is now written with similar denominators. Okay? Pareho na sila ng denominators. And so, we will just simply copy the denominator and then add the numerator. So, we are adding integers with same sign. So, we will just simply add and keep the sign of our integers. So, 4 plus 9 will give us 13. So, since pareho po silang positive, so we will keep it as positive 13 over 12. Okay? Now, um, we can express this improper fraction into um, mixed fraction. Kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina or nung una. So again, paano mo natin gagawing a mix si improper? You will just simply divide the numerator by the denominator. So 13 divides 12, we have here 1 as our whole number. So meron po tayong remainder na 1. Yung remainder po will serve as our numerator and just simply copy our denominator. So, therefore, 1 third plus 3 fourths is equal to 1 and 1 over 12. Okay, so let's have another example. So, this time, we are now to subtract fraction with different denominator. So, the first thing that we need to do is we have to find for the least common denominators of 2 and 4. And to get the LCD, we have to write the multiples of 2 and 4. And so, the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. The multiples of 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. So, as you can see, if we're going to identify their least common, okay, yung pinakamababa po na parehong multiples ni 2 at saka ni 4, as we can see, we have here 4. 
So therefore, our LCD is now equal to 4. Okay, so that is the first one. Then the second thing that we need to do is we have to rewrite our fraction um, be similar using our least common denominator. So we have to make our two denominators being subtracted um, have the same denominators by using their least common denominator. Again, the process po is still the same. So your LCD divided by the uh, denominator, so 4 divides 2 will give us 2. Then multiply it by the numerator, so 2 times 1 will be equal to 1. Okay, so um, yung 1 half po natin ngayon, so our 1 half now is equal to 2 fourths. Okay, so our um, denominator of 1 half now is 4 and that is now equivalent to 2 fourths. Okay, then next, same thing po yung gagawin. So we have here 4 divides 4 will give us 1, multiplied by 5 will also give us Okay, so as you can see, hindi po na bago si 5 fourths. So 5 fourths pa rin po. Yes, because yung denominator naman na po ng ating second fraction or ng ating subtrahend po is already 4. So pwede naman na po na we will just simply copy, okay, the numerator. So we are now, again, subtracting here um, integers. So we have to uh, follow the KCC method. So, following the KCC method, we have here, keep or to keep the minuend, so which is 2, or positive 2, change the operation to addition, change the sign of the subtrahend from positive 5, we will have here negative 5, okay? So, again, we are adding here integers with different sign, that's why we have to subtract. So, ima minus po natin. So, 5 minus 2 will give us 3, okay? Sige po. And then copy the sign of the bigger number, which is negative 5. So, ang sign po ng ating bigger number is um, negative. That's why we have here negative 3 all over our um, denominator, which is 4. So, therefore, 1 half minus 5 fourths is equal to negative 3 all over 4. Okay? Next, we have here the multiplication of fraction. Okay, in multiplying fraction, so we will just simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Okay, where our denominator should always not be equal to zero. So let's have the first example. Let us multiply the following and express our answer into its simplest form. So we have here 3 over 7 multiplied by 2 over 5. So again, you will just simply multiply the numerator. So we have here 3 multiplied by 2 will give us 6. All over 7, or we are to multiply the denominator, 7 multiplied by 5 will give us 35. Okay, so since wala naman na pong common factor or greatest common factor, si 6 and 35, para po masimplify po natin siya, this, so this will be our final answer. <clears throat> Next, for example, number 2, we have to multiply the following. And again, we have always, okay, always po na express po natin yung ating answer into its simplest form. Okay? So, on this one, we have here negative 2 fifths multiplied by 5 over 6. So, as you can see, we are multiplying here fraction with different signs. So, always remember that we are, we are going to multiply with different sign or integer with different sign. Our product or your final answer natin po is always negative. Okay? For the meantime, let us multiply the numerator. So, 2 multiplied by 5 will give us 10. All over, 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30. Okay? So, if we are going to, again, follow the rule, so, isang po negative, isang positive, our answer should be negative. Okay? Now, always write or express our answer into its simplest form as much as possible. So, we have here 10 and 30 as our numerator and our denominator. Pwede po siyang masimplify into its simplest form kasi po meron po siyang kinatawag natin na GCF. So the factors of 10 
are 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. So, pag sinabi po nating factors, ito yung dalawang number na kapag minultiply natin, ang sagot po ay 10. So, 1 times 10 is equal to 10. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Then, here are the list of factors of 30. We have 1 times 30, 2 times 14, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. So, these are the list of factors of 30 and the other one is the list of factors of 10. Now, to identify their greatest common factor, so tingnan pong maigay yung mga factors ni, one, ah, ni 10 at saka po ni 30. Ano yung greatest common na factor nilang dalawa? So, kung mapapansin natin, pareho po or, or their greatest common factor is 10. So, therefore, our GCF here is 10. Now, ano naman po yung role ni 10 Bakit natin kinuha yung GCF ng numerator and denominator? So, we will use this to simplify our answer. So, yung 10, i-divide po natin ang ating numerator at yung ating denominator by 10. Okay? So, that's why we will now have here 10 divides 10 will give us 1. All over 30 divides 10 will give us Again, our sign should be negative. Okay? So, negative po dapat ang ating sagot. So, therefore, we have here our final answer, which is negative one-third. Okay? So, okay, next. So, this example is the same example of what we have a while ago. So, same uh, fraction po yung multiply natin. So, di ba kanina, our answer is negative one-third. Okay? So, this time, I will show you the same example or the same fraction that being multiplied, but different process po yung ating gagawin. Okay? So, we will use here, or tingnan po natin yung pair of our numerator and our denominators diagonally. Okay? So, ito po. Tingnan po ninyo yung pares ng ating numerator at ating denominator diagonally. So, ito po yung isa. So, yung unang pair, we have 2 and 6. Then, the other one is 5 and 5. Okay? So, tingnan po maigi ha. Observe. Okay? So, let me erase this one. So, tingnan po yung pair diagonally of our numerator and our denominator kung pwede pa nating paliitin yung numbers natin or yung ating numerator and ating denominator. How? By getting their G GCF. So, ano po yung greatest common factor or pwede ba nating uh, paliitin si 2 and 6 by getting their GCF? Or is there any greatest common factor between 2 and 6? Yes, meron po. Ang GCF po ng 2 and 6 is 2. Okay? 2 po yung GCF ni 2 and 6. So, therefore, i-divide natin si 2 by their GCF, which is 2. So, 2 divides 2 will give us 1. 6 divides 2 will give us 3. Okay? So, yan na po yung ating bagong denominator at ating bagong numerator. So, we have here 1 and 3 respectively. Now, next, how about this another pair of um, numerator and de denominators diagonally. Si 5 and 5, pwede po ba natin paliitin? Or meron bang common factor si 5 and 5? Yes, meron po. Their uh, common factor, except 1, of course, is 5. So, we have here 5 divides 5 will give us 1. And then 5 divides 5 also will give us 1. Okay? So, mapapansin ninyo, pinaliit na po natin yung mga numbers natin sa numerator at saka po sa denominator. So, yun na po yung ating multiply, Okay? So, 1 multiplied by 1 will give us 1. All over 1 multiplied by 3 will give us 3. Again, we are multiplying here fractions na magkaiba po ang sign. That's where our, the sign of our product should be negative. So, our answer here is also negative one-third. So, nakita po, magkaiba man tayo ng process na ginawa, but then, we still come up with the same answer, which is negative one-third. Next, we have the division of fraction. Okay? In dividing fraction, so almost same siya or gagamitin natin yung process natin kung paano tayo nag-multiply. Yun nga lang, may una tayong step na kailangan gawin. The first thing that we need to do is we have 
to take the reciprocal of the second fraction or our divisor. Kukuhangin muna natin yung reciprocal ng ating divisor bago natin imumultiply ito sa unang fraction natin or yung tinatawag natin na dividend. So, from the symbol that we have here, it is shown that A over B divided by C over D is now equal to A over B. So, kinopya lang po yung unang fraction. Ito. Okay. And then, from division is our operation naging multiplication. And then, si C over D, we get their reciprocal. That's why naging D all over C. Okay? So, after getting the reciprocal, as you can see, minultiply lang din po natin si numerator by the numerator, denominator by the denominator. Okay? So, that is on how we divide fractions. So, let us now do this process. Okay, in this example, number one. So, we have to divide 8 over 11 divides 2 thirds. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you have to copy the first fraction. Okay, so copyhin lang po natin. And then we have to get the reciprocal of the second fraction or our divisor. So, in getting the reciprocal, again, pagpapalitin lang po natin. Yung numerator gagawing denominator, yung denominator gagawin po natin numerator. So now, two-thirds is now equal to three-halves as our reciprocal. So again, we are not now dividing fractions. Instead, we are now to multiply. So, multiply ng fraction. So, as you can see, tingnan po yung pares ng numerator at denominators nyo diagonally. May nakikita ka bang pares sa kanila na pwede po nating masimplify or meron po tayong makukuhang greatest common factor? Yes, meron po. And that is 2 at saka po 8. So, what is the GCF of 2 and 8? So, the GCF of 2 and 8 is 2. Very good. And we have to divide 2 and 8 by 2. So, therefore, 8 divides 2 will give us 4 and 2 divides 2 will give us 1. Okay? So, tingnan naman po natin yung another pair of numerator and our denominators diagonally. Tingnan natin si 3 and 11. Si 3 and 11 po ba ay pwede po natin makuha na ng kanilang greatest common factor? Of course, except 1. Wala po. So, therefore, this is now our um, new numerators and our denominator. So, we are now to multiply 4 by 3 will give us 12. And 11 multiplied by 1 will give us 11. So, we have here an answer which is written into its improper fraction. So, we have to write this improper to mix. How are we going to write this improper fraction to mix fraction? So, you will just simply divide the numerator and the denominator. So, 12 divides 11. That will give us 1 as our whole number. And it has a remainder of 1, so that will be our numerator. Copy our denominator, which is 11. So we have here 1 and 1 all over 11. So this is our final answer. So 8 over 11 divides 2 thirds is now equal to 1 and 1 over 11. Okay, so let's have this example number 2. 5 over 18 divides negative 2 thirds. So, copy the first fraction. Get the reciprocal of the second fraction or our divisor. So, to get the reciprocal, pagpapalitin po lang natin ang ating numerator. Gagawin natin denominator. Si denominator, gagawin po natin numerator. So, negative 2 thirds in getting its reciprocal is now equal to negative 3 all over 2. Okay? So, tingnan po yung pares ng ating um, numerator and denominators diagonally. So again, as you can see, nagmumultiply na po tayo. Imumultiply po natin yung ating reciprocal by the first fraction. So again, tingnan po yung ating pares diagonally, ha? Diagonally of our numerator and our denominator. Do you see a pair? Or do you see a pair of um, our numerator and our denominator with the greatest common factor? Yes, meron po. And that is 3 and 18. So, what is the GCF of 3 and 18? Okay, very good. That is 3. So, therefore, 18 divides 3 will give us 6. And then, 3 divides 3 will give us 1. Si 2 at saka ba si 5 ay pwede pa po natin makuha na ng greatest common factor except 1? Hindi na po. So, therefore, 5 multiplied by 1 will give us 5. And 6 multiplied by 2 will give us 12. So again, as you can see, we have here a negative sign 
kasi po nagmo-multiply po tayo ng positive or sorry, nagde-divide po tayo ng positive at saka po ng negative. So always remember kapag if you are going to divide, magkaiba po ng sign, the sign of our answer or our quotient should always be negative. So those are the different operations on rational numbers. So I hope na naintindihan po on how we add, we subtract, um, we multiply, and we divide fractions. So that's all on this video. So thank you for listening and thank you for watching this video tutorial.